find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Jersey Boys is a biopic musical, so it's about the lives of these guys, how they came to be, how they made the music, their relationship. Walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. I've been doing this show for about on and off five years. The falsetto stuff particularly is a little more natural for me. And then you find um, that rock sound, that grit, that he has that's so unique. I love when we get to uh, what we call the big three in the show, which is uh, Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, and Walk Like a Man. And you can feel the excitement from the audience. You know that we're just happy to be here at this moment. It's such a, a pivotal moment in the show. Um, and they're just so much fun to perform because everybody loves those songs and they're singing along and it's great. Listen, Tuesday night, me and my brother Nick are gonna knock over a jewelry model on French Town Road around midnight. You win or what? Tommy DeVito's a hustler, right? So he always trying to get out. The very first thing I say, one of them is, you know, there's three ways out. You know, join the army, get mobbed up, become a star. You know, all four of us have done the show before, so we brought a little bit of knowledge already, which was great. I mean, when you're locked in on a four-part harmony, that's, it's pretty awesome, man. You know, it feels nice. We're gonna keep an eye on you. If we see you outside in Nevada, it gets ugly. Wait a minute, for how long? Until it's paid off. But we're in the middle of a tour. Yeah, I really love to sit down. I love when stuff hits the fan, Tommy, you know, kind of trapped in a corner and just seeing how everybody reacts. A broken man without a goal. Don't even stand and never share so in my soul. This show is one of the biggest hits, I think, that's ever been created for a Broadway stage. The man's not properly socialized. I've had to deal with it 10 years! I think people don't come in thinking it's gonna be so funny, and the show is so funny. Uh, and I think the story just really puts it over the top. People know the music, but they don't always know the story. Who in the short shorts? Bob's first hit was Short Shorts. <laughs> Famous from the Razor commercials. Bob is a lot of their success because of how well he wrote all his songs and um, just his ideas of coming in and doing something different. He wanted to create his own sound. He didn't want to be like the Beatles. He didn't want to be like the other groups, but he had Frankie, which was something unique that provided something different. My favorite moment of the show is Who Loves You when we sing together because they haven't seen us all together in a minute at the end. And it's nice for us to all be back together and everyone's face be like, oh, it, it's actually them again. Oh, what a night. You know, I grew up wanting to be an 80s rock star so bad, so getting to do a musical where you can get that kind of vibe still is the best, dude. You know, when they're, when they're vibing with it, it's, I mean, it's fantastic. Oh, 